just in case you have a job, guys, my recommendation is to keep your day job and then start something on the side. Mm. I will recommend the skill of selling. You know, like what I shared kanina 20 years ago, I didn't know how to sell. And I said, kailangan to eh. If I want to get into a business one day, um, I need to learn how to sell. So that's what I did. And that's what I recommend to you. If you have no income or if you have only one income from your job, learn how to sell, do something on the side, whatever. You know, you could, in fact, I, two, two skills. I want, I'm, rec- I'm going to recommend two skills. Number one, learn how to sell. And number two, learn how to sell online. Hi everyone, we are in again for another treat. In this version edition of the podcast, we have entrepreneur, investor, preacher in blue jeans, and an all-around nice guy, Brother Bo <laughs> Sanchez, joining us in the podcast. So how are you? How's everything? How's the lockdown for you? It's good. It's good. You know, Marvin, it's funny because, uh, well, well, just want to say thank you first uh, before before anything else. Just thank you for the invite. Um, heard your name from other wonderful, wonderful common friends like uh, Rex Mendoza, etc. And uh, so thank you. Thank you for this invite. Um, to answer your question, it's, it's you know, nakaka-guilty pag, pag sinasagot ko ng it's okay or I'm good <laughs> during the pandemic kasi alam mong, so many people are going through rough times, you know. And so, from as early as March, we we decided, you know, we were going to help out. And so, we've been doing a lot, really doing a lot in terms of feeding hungry people, etc. Um, a lot of anxiety, eh? anxiety attacks, panic attacks, depression going on. So, our counselors are really, f- kumbaga sa basketball, full press. <laughs> Talagang... Uh, we're there, and uh, we're happy that we're able to help. So, but yes, to, your, to answer your question, where I personally am am more blessed mm. than than others in the sense that you know, in in the sense that you know, there's a there's a roof over my head, there's uh, food on my table, but uh, and and that's the reason why we want to help more people. Love life going strong. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, that's very, very important. Okay, <laughs> I, I want to start with this question because you said uh, about he- helping people and the whole heart of this channel is really just to educate people so they can make the right decision uh, w- with their money. And people see you right now as Bo Sanchez. People see you right now as someone who, who's, who's not just uh, making a difference and also being inspirational but also has made your share also of wealth through time. Uh, people always look at the success, but I want to point out what your journey is. How did you go from where you were uh, to where you are right now? Yeah, thank you, Marvin. You know, I started really young as a missionary, teenage missionary. I started preaching when I was 13 years old. I started serving the poor when I was 14, 15. I would actually live in a slum area, mm-hmm. live there, sleep there, and then knock on doors telling people about God and... and uh, so that, that was me, and, and that was me until the age of uh, 30 years old. Whoa. Did not think of money, did not think of business, felt money was bad, money was evil. <laughs> um, because of my whole idea, na, well, if you want to go grow closer to God, you know, be poor. Parang mm. yung concept ko dati. But that changed little by little. Approaching the age of 30, uh dan nagbabago na yung isip ko because I really wanted to help people. And uh, nagle livelihood programs kami sa mga slum area, etc. Did not work. Obviously, I had, I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, but little by little, my mind began to change. I said, if I really want to help people, kailangan pati financial life nila. Mm. And so started learning, started learning. So since the age of 30, I'm now I'm now 53. Am I 53 or 54? I uh, 54. <laughs> I think 52. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it's been it's been a it's been a good ride. It's been a wonderful journey for me in the past 24 years that I've not only yung pagiging missionary ko Marvin tuloy tuloy lang yan hanggang ngayon. We still do work for the poor. We still do a lot of, of uh, media work also for evangelization. 
and building small communities around the world. Pero nag, naging financial teacher ako in a very practical way. Maybe not like you, you know. I'm, I'm no. not into I'm not into trading. I'm not. Pero yung simple, yung simpleng investing, yun yung tinuturo natin. I'm curious, from the time you were in your 30s to 54, uh, how how did you do it? Because the biggest part for a lot of people is, saan ako magsisimula? How do I, uh, although investing right now, you don't really need a lot of money, but you still need capital to uh, deploy to those investments. Um, what was your process on parang, yeah. How how did I make money also come in? Because that's yeah. one of the biggest things people are asking. Okay, okay, yung investments pero wala na ako pang invest. Eh. How do I do it? So before the age of thirty, my my only income was was an allowance mm. that I would get from my from my religious uh, group. No, so syempre sobrang liit yon. Kung maga pamasahe mo lang yon. Mm. And uh, but then I started writing books mm. at, at a young age. Tapos yung author yung book royalty niya uh, lumalaki dahan-dahan hmm. so i started i started receiving that and then i started investing some of it no um, and then about i don't know when did i start doing that siguro mga 10 years ago dino donate ko na lang yung yung book royalties ko uh, because i felt that my small businesses were already earning enough for me so right now if you're asking about income sources of income para ilagay sa investments so yun ay um, yung book royalties dinonate ko na so ang natitira na lang yung mga negosyo natin so small businesses that i started and then uh, there i'm able to i i always teach people try to aim for 20% of your income to invest every month so it may not be you know, big, big lump sum na sige, I'll start investing in the stock market or wherever. Pero 20% every every month, no? Maglagay ka, buwan-buwan. And then over time, years later, you'll realize, ah, okay pala. And that's interesting. I like what you said that uh, as you started generating cash flow from uh, royalty, which is also an asset people don't realize that. Yeah. When, pag pag pinag-usapan assets, laging real estate, laging business, laging uh, commodities, but it's there's also what you call an intellectual asset that ano yun yeah. eh, if it's done properly, it can also give you something that will be, uh, I guess, cash flow in perpetuity. Now, yes. uh, I like what you said that as you start getting money from those royalties, you started to invest it. Because eh? the majority of the people, when they start earning more also, they elevate their, st- their standard of living first. Yes, uh, yes. I ko na yung kotse na hindi ko nabibili before. Yes, uh, oh. What prevented you from doing that? I'll, I'll buy this first. Kesa, enjoy ko naman na, hindi ko alam ko naman ihari. Eh. What was your mindset at that time? Uh, good question. I think na- nakatulong yung pagiging missionary eh, uh, mm. Marvin. Because I've always lived a simple life ever since I started. Yung, kaya nga, I was living with the poor pa. We started a ministry for abandoned elderly. We pick up old people from the streets. And I started living with them for three years. Wow. For three years na walang kuryente, walang running water. Isa, you know, and I was happy. Mm. So... So when I was 30 years old, I got married at the age of 32. I told my wife already, I, nung liniligawan ko pa lang siya, <laughs> bine, bine brainwash ko na. <laughs> Sinabi ko, alam mo, simple lang yung, yung magiging husband mo. Ha? Simple lang yung buhay. Okay, okay naman siya. She, she said, sure. And, and that's what happened to me. I, I started earning more. Marvin, may kwento ako. Yung, it reminded me. I joined a networking company. 20 oh, years ago. Okay, 20 years okay. ago. Just one one year lang ako doon. Year 2000. Kasi I was, okay. I was so busy. I was so super busy. Um, but, so, but the reason why I joined was, hindi ako marunong magbenta eh. So, inisip ko, magandang training to. <laughs> Tapos, uh, talaga may pressure ka eh. Tapos, you, you have, uh, you have the, you know, the ability to take, to take uh, rejection. Mm. Yung, yung ganon, yung, I, I, I wanted that, so I joined. Alamo, in one year, I was able to earn money. I think, I think, uh, I think it was about close to a million, Whoa. a million pesos in a year. Uh, but during that time, yung mga upline ko, siyempre, mga <laughs> one million a month, di ba? <laughs> Pero ako, one million in a year, no? And you know, you know what I did? I, I, total, meron, meron naman akong simple lang naman yung buhay ko, ganyan. So, I, hinati ko. 
no? Yung 1 million. Um, 50%, I think we needed something for the ministry. So, sinabi ko, sige, pang, pang donation ko yan. Ha? Kasi we, there was a big expense that we needed to make. I don't know what it was. It was musical mm-hmm. instruments or something for the worship. Tapos yung 50%, linigay ko sa, sa investments. No? By the way, Marvin, I had no idea what I was doing. So, buti na lang tama yung lin- <laughs> lin- 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 linigyan ko. No? It was a combination of mutual funds, etc. So, anyway, um, and then I left. I left uh, that company. One year lang ako doon. You know, years later, I would meet yung mga kasam- kasamahan natin doon. And th- th- tama ka eh. They did not invest. Mm. You know, paakyat ng paakyat yung income nila. Laki ng gastos nila. Kotse, bahay. Kasi one million a month eh. Mm. Sila eh. Ako one million a year. Di ba? <laughs> And then, ayun na. Um... Uh, They, they, they lost their car. They lost uh, their, their... Because, siyempre, up and down yan eh. Mm. And, uh, kawawa talaga. If you don't know how to simplify, uh, parang, parang, as the income increases, di ba? Parang, simple lang. <laughs> Kasi, mawawala eh. Your expenses should not really exceed your your income, no matter how big your income is, or no matter how small it is. You you mentioned kanina about your style about saving 20%. percent. Ako nako para magalit ka sa akin. I I I violated all of that because 100% percent of my money goes to my wife. Eh. So wala talagang natitira sa akin. I, I I get I get zero I get zero from whatever whatever's going on. <laughs> <laughs> galing, 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 galing. Wala. Um, yun yung technique ko kasi pag hindi gwapo, kailangan mapagmahal sa asawa. So, <laughs> and, and, anyways, anyways, uh, I, this is my question. For people naman that are starting right now, uh, that probably are he, because of this pandemic, they thought about kailangan ko na talagang unahin din yung finances ko. Uh, yeah. What do you suggest as a tip for them or at least strategies that If you're starting 2020, how do you build sources of income? Whether they're employed or whether they're freelance or really they don't have any source of income right now. Yeah, yeah. Ta- ta- ma- Just in case you have a job, guys, my recommendation is to keep your day job and then start something on the side. Mm-hmm. I will recommend the skill of selling. You know, like what I shared kanina 20 years ago, I didn't know how to sell. And I said, kailangan to eh. If I want to get into a business one day, Um, I need to learn how to sell. So that's what I did. And that's what I recommend to you. If you have no income or if you have only one income from your job, learn how to sell, do something on the side, whatever. You know, you could, in fact, I, two, two skills. I want, I'm, rec- I'm going to recommend two skills. Number one, learn how to sell. And number two, learn how to sell online. Uh, that's the world we're getting into. Bagong ba- you know, the, itong new normal na to, dati pa to eh. Before the pandemic, Online was already gathering steam. Kaya lang, nang times 10 ngayon <laughs> sa pandemic. And, uh, you know, Marvin, I, I was reading an article. Ang ganda na sinabi niya. Uh, parang we were moving at, uh, let's say, sabi mo nang 60 kilometers per hour yung papunta sa digital, papunta sa online. Alam mo, because of the pandemic, nag-ano tayo eh, nag-1,000 kilometers. Eh. Yung talagang binilisan eh. So, we skipped siguro mga 7 years. 7 oh. to 10 years of uh, dapat dapat yung nangyayari ngayon dapat ano pa yung yung our our getting being comfortable with something like this you know mm-hmm. uh, being comfortable with zoom meetings being comfortable with work at home dapat mga seven years pa, pa yan eh eight years pa yan eh kaya lang talagang minadali ng pandemic so those are the two skills I'll recommend sell uh, learn how to sell and learn how to sell online Get you know, keep on watching YouTube videos on on it. Basta mat matuto ka, and then execute. Amazing! It while you were talking, it reminded me of what a good friend Chingitan. I'm sure you know Chingitan. He would always yes. say, "Maganda yung selling kasi laway lang yung puhunan eh. Kung hindi maging okay, inum ka lang ulit may bala ka na, may laway ka na ulit. Ika mo, ika mo ubusan. So I, I think that's what makes it very very interesting. So sell sell online and guys pivot naman madami naging expert naging ano eh naging buyers online instead of sellers so you just shift the mentality ah, instead yes. of spending you right. you buy uh, I, i have this question also this are naman for people who uh, i don't know if it's still connected to to selling no but if it was you uh, and then 
hypothetically, ikaw yung nawalan, you lost everything, you went to zero. Uh, what would you do day one? Because I've seen so many people, they, their businesses are were highly connected to weddings and there's no weddings right now. A yeah. lot into conventions. Some of them uh, into tourism, zero din sila. Today, up, up, even up until nag-open economy, there's barely, they're barely getting anything. Yeah. Uh, if it was you, what would you do? I would, day one, I'll do an inventory. Hmm. Inventory muna. Tingnan ko muna, teka muna. What are, what are my material things that I possess? Hmm. Who are the people that I know that can help? You know, so lahat yan. And uh, a simple thing as, teka, mag-ano muna ako. Titingin sa bahay, may mga bagay-bagay ba dito na I can sell. Hmm. Like right now. To put cash into my wallet, di ba? So there might be some things that I can sell. Uh, you know, six years na hindi ginagamit. You know, ibenta ko na lang. Uh, that's number one. The second thing is to to look at my skills. What what are the talents that I can put on the table? And daming mga website ngayon, you know, from Upworks, iba na yata yung pangalan nila, to Fiverr, to you know, you, you can just Google this. You know, there there are twenty plus websites where you can sell your skills to the world market, to the global market. It could be as, as something as like you know, taking photographs to. To teaching English, to maski ano, you, you you look at your inventory, inventory ng skills. Finally, inventory of network or mm-hmm. or kilala mo. Sino mm-hmm. kilala mo na mga katulong? Ang paborito kong kwento dito Marvin is this guy who was working in the hotel, and he was a bartender. Hotel closed. He was looking at his two kids at home, saying, "Pano sila?" Tapos, and then he began to think. Teka muna, teka muna. What do I have? I know beverages. Kaya lang walang 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 bar, walang walang you know zero zero. Pero sinabi niya, teka mo na, may meron pa akong uh, inventory, inventory of network. Kilala ko yung mga supplier ng beverages, first name basis. Because you know I'm the bartender, they, they go to me. So he calls them up and he says, can I sell your beverages online? You know, lalagay ko lang sa Facebook kanyan. Uh, and and of course the, the mga kaibigan niya to eh. sinabi niya sure sure uh, ano gusto mo 30 days uh, 45 days ano wow. uh, payment you know, sabi niya sige 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 so alam mo that's how he feeds his kids now mm. um, so it's lo- having an inventory that that's what I will do and then from there take the next step and the next step and and guys so that's so, that's so amazing kasi some of you merong sampung rubber shoes na, na hindi niyo naman nagagamit or you mga, there's there's a lot of stuff that you can actually sell that uh kasi yeah. nasa bahay siya that it's rotting it's not even generating yeah. interest for you benta niyo na lang but yeah. uh, uh, brother Paul I'll say this uh please lang kahit na tempt kayo wag niyo benta yung mother-in-law niyo please lang uh, <laughs> by all <laughs> mahalin niyo yung mother niyo do not even though no no matter how big the temptation is do not sell your mother-in-law stick to your mother-in-law no matter what happens okay. that's so funny yeah that's good <laughs> I, I, okay so uh, very very important that's why it's also important that you keep good relationships still with people that you do not burn bridges no matter what happens. No? Yes. Oh, oh. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Very important. Ako, I, I will always tell people, what, what? pride lang yan eh. You wanna burn bridges? Huwag na. Let's, uh, let's work but, together. And then as the income increased and as, uh, you know, the investments increased, ayan na, we started rewarding ourselves. And, and the way we did that was we set aside a budget na o oh, ito pang restaurant so or, or ito pang bakasyon so ngayon we 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 can practic- practically go to any restaurant now order whatever we want because because there are investments already so syempre iba na yung mundo um, are we happier now than before you know what i i always say kasi nung panahon na yon na nagtumitingin kami na menu ano yung pinaka ano yung pinaka mura na pwede namin bilhin masaya naman kami noon eh Diba? We were happy before. Mm-hmm. Now, we can go to any restaurant, mm-hmm. you know, five-star man yan, we can. Pero, we're still happy, you know. So, may freedom lang. There's this little freedom uh, that we have. You know?